Hello there, Virgo. Thank you so much for stopping by for your tarot video forecast for the week of May 9th through the 15th. What we coming up, what we have coming up for your Monday is a very good card. This is a magician card. This just tells me that on Monday you're doing really well at taking the resources that you have at hand and creating the things that you want with those. Very good card to have come up. Now on Tuesday, what we have showing up is the Ace of Swords. I do feel like this is you passing along good information to other people in your sphere of influence. The other thing that this card can be coming up as, and I do feel like it's gonna manifest different ways for different ones of you, is that this can be feeling stuck about something, like you need a new idea to make something move forward, and feeling like, oh, I just don't know how to move, how to move forward with this, feeling kind of stuck. Now, the next card that we have coming up for you comes up on Wednesday as the Three of Swords, but it's in reverse, which is good. This just means healing from some kind of heartache. So to me, this is either having a conversation with somebody who um, did something that gave you some heartache, or this could be you actually doing some emotional or some psychological growth and um, letting that go, offering forgiveness or giving forgiveness, whether that person asked for it or not. Um, all kinds of different ways to bring in healing for heartache, but I do see some healing for heartache coming up on Wednesday. For some of you, this is going to have to do with that thing that you were stuck with on Tuesday that you didn't have any good ideas. For those of you that, that applied that way, that bringing in this healing to heartache kind of gets you out of that stuck place. Now, on Thursday, what we have showing up is the Queen of Coins. And the Queen of Queens is somebody that you're going to be interacting with Virgos on Thursday. And this is somebody who really wants to help you. Um, and she wants to help you in a very tangible way. She may just want to take you out to dinner or buy you some, maybe a cake. I don't know. I don't know why buy you a cake just popped up. I guess that applies to somebody. Um, but she's also the type of person that wants to help somebody move forward in their life. So she may want to do something that brings you some kind of comfort, or she may want to do something that helps you move forward. She may want to help you buy your first rental property. She may want to help you um, with books for school. She may want to help you um, with buying something for the kids. So um, all kinds of different ways that she can show up, but she's very helpful and she's very nurturing. So when you have the interaction with her, um, she is not somebody that is just talk. She puts her money where her mouth is. So she backs up what she believes. And if she believes that you could use some help from her or you would benefit from some help with her, even if she doesn't think that you need it, but if you could benefit from it, then she will be offering that. Now, on Friday, you guys have the Seven of Swords showing up. And the Seven of Swords is just telling me that there's somebody in your life that's being a little bit sneaky. They're trying to pull the wool over your eyes. The interesting thing, though, about this card is that they think they're pulling the wool over your eyes, but they're not really. You know exactly what's going on. You're just not choosing to let them know you know exactly what's going on. I feel like a lot of you just want to avoid the confrontation. You would rather let them think that they're getting away with it than have the fight about it. So let them do whatever they're doing. All right, so that is Friday. Saturday, what we have coming up is the Knight of Cups showing up in reverse. Knight of Cups in reverse just means that you are feeling pessimistic about either a specific romantic relationship in your life or about romance in general or I've seen this play out where people are feeling pretty pessimistic about other people, like there's nobody good in the world, that type of attitude. So just feeling very pessimistic in one of those three categories coming up for you guys on Saturday, Virgos. Excuse me. And then on Sunday, what we have showing up is we have the five of coins in reverse. The five of coins in reverse just means that there's something going on on Sunday that loosens up your budget and gives you some breathing space in the budget. So this can be getting something paid off that you've been making payments on for a while. This could be getting another, you know, getting like a part-time job. This could be getting another job that pays better than the old job. Um, 
This can be getting a bonus, all kinds of ways that this can manifest. But the bottom line here is just that the budget is loosened up by whatever happens with this. Okay, so that is your week, Virgos. Thank you so much for stopping by, for hanging out, for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. Everyone have an absolutely fantastic week, and I will see you guys back here the next time. Peace out.